Hey guys, I hope you all are doing well today. Today I want to give you a little bit of an introduction into Zoom. So some of you have done this with us before. If you were in the class over the summer, then you know um, we use Zoom quite a bit. But if you're a little bit newer, that is fine. Or if you're just not sure exactly how Zoom works, this um, is just a brief introduction. We'll do some different things with it. So we'll, um, this is the basics. This is everything you'll use as we start our classes this week. And then if there's a few extra things, we will learn them as we go. Now, the first thing to remember with Zoom, you're gonna be at home, you're gonna be in your own home. So while you're there, try to find a place that is quiet, that is not going to be distracting to you or to others. So I know that a lot of you are home with your families and it might be difficult to find a place that's quiet enough or that um, you have to yourself. Um, and that's okay. I know that it's not going to be perfect. Even in my home, um, you're going to see my dog. You're going to maybe hear my dog. Or you might even hear other people in my house. Um, and that's okay. But trying to find a place that is as quiet as possible because that way you can hear and because we can hear what's going on in your house, we don't want to distract other people or make it so you can't hear your classmates speaking. So do your best if you, um, some people have to go outside sometimes, but just try to find a place that is as quiet and you can focus and you're not distracting to others. Now, once you have found that place in your house, um, I'm gonna walk you through a little bit of how to use the Zoom app and how you're going to get from um, the link I send to the meeting itself. Now, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this on a phone. Um, it's almost exactly the same on a computer. The buttons might be a little bit bigger or um, it might look a little bit different, but you'll be able to do all the same things on your computer as you can on your phone. So let me show you what I'm doing. Here we go. There we go. All right, so this is my phone. Now, to get to the Zoom meetings, you're going to go to Remind. Everything, um, all of the links will be sent through Remind. That's why it's so important that you have Remind on your phone and you're checking it on the day of class. So, or click on Remind. And you'll have a message from me that looks like this. It'll say, I'll usually say, good morning, class starts at this time, I will see you there, something like that and then you'll have a link. So here you have this link. You'll click on the link and it will take you to Zoom. It'll say waiting usually. Then when you get into the meeting, you're going to have a button or something that looks similar to this where it talks about joining audio. Sometimes it'll pop up like this and sometimes it'll be in the bottom corner. I'll show you where that button is, but sometimes you have to click that button. But wherever it is, whether it's in the middle of your screen or in the bottom right, bottom left corner, you're always going to choose call using internet audio or call over internet. So you're gonna choose that. And then you should be able to hear the meeting. So our meeting will look something like this. Sometimes we'll use the computer, sometimes we won't. But now you should be able to hear it. We can't hear it right now because my phone is plugged into the computer, but you should be able to hear it. If you have any issues hearing or being heard, it's going to be this button in the bottom right, bottom left corner of your screen. It'll have a microphone on it. Um, if you join the meeting and you cannot hear, this button should say join audio and then you click it and it says call using internet or call over internet and you click the words and you should be able to hear us but at the same time if you can already hear the meeting if you've already joined the audio um, you might still want to mute yourself or turn off your sound 
So for example, if something loud is happening behind you, or if one of your kids comes in and you need to talk to them or anything, you can click this button and then the line will go through it. And now we cannot hear you. So now you can talk to your family or you can um, pick something up or whatever it is. And you, the audio on your side will not be distracting to everyone else. But then if you need to say something, if you wanna answer a question, you click that button again, the line goes away, and now we can hear you again. So that is all the audio. If you ever have a problem hearing or being heard, then it's usually going to be this button in the corner. That is where all the answers will be for audio. Now, if we also wanna talk about the video. So you'll be able to see me in the video. I will always have my video on once class starts. Um, and I recommend that you also have your video on. So a big part of language and communication is being able to see each other, being able to see your expressions or your gestures. So this button right next to the microphone, the little camera button, here right now it has that line through it, which means we can't see. But if we want to see you, you're gonna click that button, the line will go away and a picture of you will pop up here. So right now, oh no, right now, because my phone is connected to the internet or to the computer with the cord, we can't use my video, my camera, but this will be whatever your phone sees. And those are my text messages. It's fine. So whatever the phone sees here will be the video. So you can point it at yourself, you can talk, all of those things. If for some reason you need to leave or you don't want your, your video on, you can click that button again and it will have the line through it and your video will stop. Okay, so the two things we've talked about so far are the audio. So if you hit it, oh my goodness, if you click it and the line goes through, that means we cannot hear you. Click it again, that means we can hear you. Video, same thing, the line goes through it, we cannot see you, click it again, and we'll see you, okay? So, one other thing that um, I will ask you to use is the chat. So the chat is like you would type in words. So at the beginning of class, I am going to ask you to type in your name so that we can keep track of who came to class, and all of that. So when you join the meeting, when you get into class, I will have you write your name in the chat. So to get to the chat, here where it says more, it has those three dots and it says more, you are going to click on that. And the very top one says chat. You're going to click chat. And then this will pop up. And you should be able to see where you can type down here at the bottom. You'll click it and you will type in your name. Ooh, and it will apparently double. Okay, you'll type in your name and you'll hit send. Make sure it says that you're sending to everyone. You'll hit send and then it is there. And I can keep track of who is in class and you can get credit for being in class. So after you have typed your name, you just go up here where it says close, and you close it, and you're back at the meeting. You can also use the chat if you ever have a question. So if you um, are listening, if I say something and you don't understand, um, you can always go down here and go to chat and say, I, you can always say, I have a question. Or something like that. And I will see that and then I can respond to you. Oh, specifically, sorry. <laughs> so if you see something like that, you can always use it to ask questions or you can just 
in the in the meeting say hey i have a question please stop but then when you're done typing go up here and hit close good all right at the end of our meetings usually i will close the meeting you don't have to do anything but if um, you need to leave early or um, if you if the meeting is over if class is done and you are leaving up here at the top it's where it says leave you will click that and you will click leave meeting and you'll say leaving and then you're gone all right so let me stop sharing there we go so the more we do this, the more comfortable you're going to get with Zoom. Um, by the end of the semester, you're going to be experts or have no problem. But those are some of the basics. Um, so if you ever hear me say, click on the microphone, I'm talking about the mute button. If I say the video button, I'm talking about your camera, whether we can see you or not. Um, so those are some things you're going to be using every day in Zoom. And hopefully that gives you an idea of what we're going to be doing. But hopefully this will be very simple and you'll just be able to connect and be done and it'll be very smooth. If you all have any questions, please let me know. Please, um, if you don't know what you're doing or if you're having trouble connecting, let me know. There's not a lot I can do when I'm not with you. So if you have any issues with Zoom, um, this first meeting, then bring your phone to class um, when we have our in-classroom class. And I will take a look at it again and see if we can figure it out together so that you can be connected to all of our classes. All right, guys, you all have a great day. Let me know if you need anything and I will see you in class this week. All right, bye guys.